Now in this lab, let's look at the AWS Certificate Manager service. So a quick understanding. So this is a service that you use to generate and manage public SSL or TLS certificates for AWS websites. Now the service has integration with other AWS services such as the Elastic Load Balancer, Amazon CloudFront, Elastic Beanstalk, etc. So you can go ahead and generate an SSL certificate and then link it to an Elastic Load Balancer resource that you have in AWS. You can also import an existing certificate into the service itself. But one thing to note is that you can't export a public certificate to install on your individual sites or servers. So let's go ahead on to AWS. Let's see how we can request a simple certificate using the AWS Certificate Manager. Now here we are in the AWS Management Console. So let's go on to Certificate Manager. Now I can go ahead and provision a new certificate. So let me click on get started. Now I can go ahead and request a public certificate. You can see that you also have the option to import a certificate if required. So let me go ahead and request a certificate. Now it's asking me to provide a domain name. Now please know that you should already have a public domain name in place. So you should have either bought the domain from AWS or from any other external provider. Now I already have a domain name in place which I've bought from an external provider known as GoDaddy. So let me go ahead and add that domain name. So it's cloudhublearning.com. So let me go ahead on to next. Now you can select a validation method. So either you could validate that you are the owner of this domain either via a DNS validation or an email validation. So I'll choose email validation, click on review, that will be faster. So it's going to give you the review screen. You can go ahead and confirm and request. So now it's going to go ahead, it's going to send an email. So if you are the owner of that domain, you will get an email to authorize AWS Certificate Manager to register this domain and hence generate a certificate. So let me click on continue. Now in the next screen, you can see that the status for the domain name is pending validation. Now if I go on to my email, I can see that I have received an email for a certificate approval for this domain. So I will go ahead, click on the link. And over here, I will click on I approve. Now if you go back on to AWS Certificate Manager, you can click on refresh. And now you can see the status has issued. So now remember you cannot actually download the certificate, but what you can do is that you can associate this certificate with other services which are available in AWS such as the Elastic Load Balancer, AWS CloudFront, etc. Right, so this is how you can request a certificate from the AWS Certificate Manager. This marks the end of this lab. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.